fingers crossed this was made good by a good person. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, it's bread flavor. This is by heaven right now. As long as it doesn't kill me later. My stomach is starting to hurt. I'm dying. You guys know about Etsy, right? In case you're unaware, it's basically a website where anybody can go on and sell handmade homemade goods. I mean, for example, this shirt I bought from Etsy. Up here, you can see that they specialize in things like, I don't know, jewelry and accessories, clothing and shoes, home decor, furniture, wedding stuff. They even have toys and entertainment. They have art. They have craft supplies. I can't stress this enough. Anybody can start an account on Etsy and sell stuff. Anybody. <laughs> so you may be just as confused as I was when I learned that you can buy food from Etsy. There's a lot of food you can buy from Etsy. And the majority of it is stuff that people just, you know, kind of made in their kitchen for you. Oh, like this, like waffle pizzas. Something I could probably make for myself, but <laughs> nope. Let's get a stranger on the internet to make it for me. And that's when I wondered, what kind of bread do people sell? on Etsy. Sorry, what kind of bread do strangers on the internet sell on Etsy for consumption? And uh, I was not at all disappointed. There is so much. There's even one with just, you know, one review if you really want to gamble. <laughs> and I just want to say absolutely no hate to people selling food products on Etsy. I think it's fantastic that you can start a small business and sell your product anywhere. However, <laughs> I'm a bit worried because there is literally no food regulation whatsoever. Like nobody's going to these people's houses and checking what they use in their product, checking their criminal background, making sure their facilities are clean. Nobody, because it's just strangers on the internet. It's me and you, it's your neighbor from down the street. They're cooking stuff in their kitchen and then they're throwing it in an envelope and they're putting it in the mail and then it's getting to you and you're eating it. That's what this is. But don't worry, because I've taken it upon myself to risk my life in order to get food from strangers from the internet and taste test it and see if I'm okay afterwards. Because <laughs> I feel like this goes against everything I've ever learned growing up. Because I've always been told, don't take candy from strangers. Check your Halloween candy for bad things that bad people might put into it. And instead, I'm uh, letting a random stranger from Indiana cook me food. <laughs> so let me show you what I ordered. So first off, if you want to check out any of these small businesses on Etsy, I highly recommend you do, especially after I put out this video, meaning I'm all good. <laughs> then make sure to go in the description below. I linked all of their shops down there. I just didn't want to put their names in the video, just in case if they want it removed for whatever reason, I can easily remove it. Anyway, this is the bread item that has been advertised to me like crazy and actually started the idea for this entire video. Japanese milk bread, which I've heard lots about, but have never experienced myself. Just look at this. Look at how, oh, that's just happiness. That is pure happiness in a video. So I had to get this. 20 plus views in the last 24 hours, what? All right, see, uh, it, this isn't weird, buying random foods from strangers on the internet. Lots of people are doing it, it's cool. So I'm definitely getting this because I don't wanna roll the dice on too many different strangers. I figured maybe I'll just taste test a couple of the products from this same person. So we have the milk bread, and then I had to try the white bread, cause why not? It still apparently does this, Look at this. It looks fake, it's so pretty. And then lastly, I found these. Crispy Pineapple Bun Melon Pan 6 Package Hong Kong Style Bread. I don't know what any of that means, but they look delicious. I think they're just like a sweet dinner roll. That's what they look like. I'm all for it. I also just realized this could be a life hack. Like you could order food from Etsy as like homemade delicious food and then bring it to your friends and family and be like, look what I made. <laughs> I am amazing. You're all welcome. All right, this will be package one. And now I will wait patiently for future Lauren to taste test it. Okay, everyone, are you ready? <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it at some point in this video. This is my first batch of strangers internet bread. Yay! <laughs> I am both very excited and nervous. Extremely nervous. Um, also, because there's no, I don't know, uh, documentation that was with this. It's literally just in a brown box. Oh, and you know what else looks really sus? Um, this piece of tape. <laughs> 
this piece of tape that's on one of the breads. But full disclosure, I added that. <laughs> Not to be funny, there was a little cut in the paper of the bread, and I wanted to make sure the integrity of the bread stayed good. <laughs> but I don't know how long the slit's been in it, so I don't know if it's been in the box like that. I'm hoping not. It feels soft still. I was the most excited for this batch because I've never had Japanese-style bread before. Oh, besides the canned bread that I had. <laughs> but not like fresh ones made from a stranger. From Oregon. Okay, so let's start with the one that I'm the most excited for, and the one that was constantly being advertised to me on Etsy. Oh, Emily, I know you know Japanese. That's not Japanese. What am I talking about? Those are letters. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Emily, you know Japanese. <laughs> Read this. <laughs> okay, it's apparently a part of Japan. I guess that is known for making this. It's milk bread. This is milk bread. I thought I was just gonna read milk bread on it. It's also the only one with a label, so it's special. I will say it is squishy, so that's good. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, look at it. This is like the bread you see on Instagram, all right? It is perfectly square. Will the squareness make it taste even better? You know what it feels like, just so everybody can like pretend like they're here with me. It feels like a squishy. It smells and looks kind of like a brioche. Okay, I'm ready. Here's the insides. Nothing sharp in there. I feel like I'm like checking Halloween candy. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We're supporting local businesses. I should have brought a bread knife. I'm using a butter knife. All right, here's my slice. It feels like I'm holding a cloud. And now just like the bread tier list video, I'm just gonna link all of my bread videos in the description because if you're sitting through this whole video, then you'd probably enjoy those as well after. But with the bread tier list video, I tried one piece without butter and one piece with. So this is the one without. This is my first taste of strangers bread. <laughs> Every time I told people the idea for this video that I know, they were like, wow, you're really brave. I feel brave. <laughs> mm, I don't even care if this kills me. <laughs> They're so good. All right, and just like the bread tier list ranking, I'm gonna go from S all the way to F. Nothing's probably gonna go at the bottom, let's be real. It's gonna be all like S, A. I feel like this is gonna be S. It is just like the texture and just the mild taste with like a tiny hint of like sweetness. Oh, it's gonna kind of like a King's Hawaiian roll a little bit. I could eat that whole loaf. Oh my God. New idea for a video. Leave a like if you want me to eat an entire loaf. <laughs> Actually, please don't. I would probably throw up. I'd be very happy, but I would be very sick. You may be like, Lauren, you definitely picked this idea just so you could eat a bunch of bread again. You're right. And as I run out of bread related video ideas, they can only just keep getting more creative. All right, butter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is what pure bliss looks like. Damn, that is amazing. I'm definitely gonna be eating way too much of that. All right, Japanese milk bread. Don't know why it's not more available here. Come on, America. Okay, so next was the white bread. I'm more so curious just to see. I mean, white bread is delicious. Anyway, all right, no barbed wire or razor blades, no weird colors. What is this? <laughs> That's nah, fine. I love that it's cube shaped. <laughs> looks a little different. Looks definitely more like white bread here, wait. Okay, the milk bread definitely looks more like spongy and the white bread looks more like white bread. I probably just bought a loaf of white bread. <laughs> probably gonna taste just like, it. but fresh and made with love. It's just, it's straight up white bread. <laughs> but again, made with love and better ingredients from a stranger. I mean, it's good. It's white bread. It's nothing special. It's good. All right, the butter test, probably gonna make it better. Yes, butter made it better. White bread, A tier, milk bread, definitely S tier. Definitely above it. And last from the first batch. Okay, so these are the crispy pineapple buns. I've never had those before. Hong Kong style bread. All right. Ooh. Oh, I got a special goodie. <laughs> Is it shaped like a peanut? All right, I have to have the special good bonus treat. Thank you, kind stranger. Okay, it's definitely peanut butter. So good thing I don't have a peanut allergy. <laughs> then the strangers would really be trying to poison me. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I found it. It is a fresh made, handmade, crisp peanut shaped peanut filling puff cake pastry. <laughs> 
That is really good. Not like anything I've had before. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a homemade Nutter Butter cookie. Ooh, these are packaged. All right. <laughs> Okay, I think I need to keep one of these bags because look what it says on it. What'd you get? Oh, it's bread flavor. <laughs> what flavor is it? Bread flavor. <laughs> it's bread flavored bread. Whatever, I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> I've come this far. I still feel okay. Okay, we have a little bun. Now, I don't know if this is filled with something. We're gonna find out. Hopefully it's not filled with poison. <laughs> Ooh, but what's good about this is if I don't die after eating all this, I now know who to buy food from on the internet. I now try, we have built trust. Okay, let's see if it's filled with anything. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, that's nice. It's like, um, it's just like a sweet dinner roll. It doesn't, I thought I was gonna taste like a lot of pineapple or it's gonna be filled with pineapple or something. It's just like a very lovely dinner roll. This is King's Hawaiian. That's what this tastes like. All right, well, the timer starts now. Uh, hopefully by the end of the day, I'm still alive. And if so, then this video will be posted and also will continue to the next batch. So <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, I'm back to show the next set of breads, which means I didn't die from the first set. Yay! Which actually, Lauren Z side dying from bread that she bought off the internet from strangers kind of has a catchy headline ring to it. It would make sense. People would see it and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, I'm now moving into even more homemade looking ones. And from the next batch, I'm getting a homemade pumpkin bread, which is one of my favorite sweet breads. And this looks like literally somebody's making it in their kitchen. So I'm all for it. Oh, look at it. Oh yeah. I mean, it's the season. It's the pumpkin season's beginning already. Then I had to also do their banana nut bread. Also a staple of just, you know, breads you can easily make in your own kitchen. And then there was these mini corn bread, which I definitely don't know how to make myself and never have, but love. So I'm Actually really excited for these. All right, and now we wait some more for future Lauren to receive and try these. More bread has arrived. And these are um hefty. <laughs> they at least weigh a couple pounds. Like, <laughs> oh, sorry, not done. Here we go. And uh, here we go. At least five pounds of bread right here. And I know I've done this already, but I feel like every time it's gonna be a gamble because it's a different stranger making me bread. A person I don't know somewhere else in the country. <laughs> don't know where they made it. Don't don't know their intentions, but we're gonna hope we're just supporting small businesses and it's all gonna work out. <laughs> this smells like straight up butter and I am here for it. Let's start with the mini cornbread. Also, I am starving <laughs> and I just heard the saying that hunger is the best sauce. So I'm probably gonna think all of these taste absolutely delicious. I'm sure they do. I'm sure I'm not gonna die. Oh my God, look at that yellow. <gasps> Gorgeous. The inside. I don't know why this is looking so yellow on camera. <laughs> it looks like a lemon bread. Okay, fingers crossed this was made good by a good person. <laughs> I hope you all appreciate this. Oh my God. I'm not even putting butter on that to taste test it. It does not need it. I feel like I would just taste butter. That toasted, oh. And even though I'm not putting butter on it, I'm not depriving myself of the second piece. It is so good. It's so moist, which is the number one concern with getting bread in the mail, <laughs> that it will no longer be moist. Okay, that is delicious. And the death timer starts now. <laughs> if I'm still good after taste testing the next two, I think I'm okay. And next we have a classic banana nut. Oh, it's banana nut bread. Walnuts. Hell yeah. I thought it was just straight up banana bread. This is a pleasant surprise. I forgot what I ordered. Again, this is like the heaviest bread. <laughs> oh, the smell of bananas. Oh, uh, mm. we have a piece. Banana nut bread. That's some good banana nut bread. <laughs> oh, I forgot, I gotta rank them. Cornbread, S tier, I know. Banana bread, I'd say like A tier. Now, actually, I'm not gonna put butter on the other slice either because I don't think I've ever done that with banana bread anyway. And lastly, cause it's pumpkin season, Pumpkin bread! Oh, it's my first pumpkin bread of the season! Oh, this is special now. I will say, my stomach is starting to hurt. I'm dying. No, I think it's because they are literally so rich, like buttery and sweet, and I'm not used to it from my healthy eating I've been strictly doing since June. That I'm now ruining. That first smell of just pumpkin anything for the season is like, Gives me feels. <laughs> See what this bread is doing. Oh my god. That was the face of somebody deciding if I, it's going in S or A tier. 
That's an ass. <laughs> uh, bringing out the basic white girl in me! Ah, pumpkin bread! Okay, that would be good toasted with butter, so... Butter test. Okay. I was correct. This is my heaven right now. This is my basic white girl September, almost October heaven. As long as it doesn't kill me later. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, so happy right now. I was very nervous going into this video concept, but now I'm, it has kind of restored my faith in humanity a little bit. I shouldn't speak too soon because I still got one more stranger to try their treats from. Ooh, Bobby wasn't here for the first batch, so let's see what he thinks about my bread from strangers on the internet. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be as excited as me. This plate looks so unhinged. Bobby! Bobby! Yeah? Do you want bread? You made some bread? Wow. Someone made bread. Um, I got it from strangers on the internet. What do you mean? Like, people baked this and then sent it to me. Ooh. People on Etsy. What? What? <laughs> Did you- don't eat it! I did already. Don't worry, I googled how long does cyanide take to kill someone. And after Google told me that help is available and that I should speak with someone today, yeah. I learned that it takes under 30 minutes and it's been over 30 minutes, so I'm good. So okay. I taste tested it for you. You're welcome. This is a, wait, this is a trust exercise. I trust. To start trusting- Strangers? strangers online? online? We already do. Now that I've been the guinea pig and I'm still alive, there is, I don't know why there's two slices, but two slices of pumpkin bread, banana, and cornbread. Well, I thought it was pound cake. Sorry, it is not. Whoa, it tastes, it like, tastes like butter, butter cake. <laughs> it's just butter. Wow, this is just weird. You bought bread from people I know, online. and they're like wrapped. Wait. Wow, they're all really good. They're packaged like as if I pack would have packaged something to give it somebody. Just oh to God. get that like homemade How much bread did you get? I got a lot. This isn't even all of it. There's more coming. We have to eat all this? We have nine I'm gain total. so much weight. Doesn't this just taste like fall? It's all amazing. What was it's... your favorite? The butter? The butter, the butter bread. Cake. <laughs> the butter cake. I think the pumpkin was my favorite, but just because I'm in that mindset. I'm so happy and upset that we have all this bread in our house. Happy and upset. Oh. But not that I got it from strangers. It's from India. It's all the way from Indiana. Wonderful. So that's some real cornbread. India, straight from Indiana. Straight from the corn country. <laughs> Is it? I just made it up. <laughs> Hopefully don't die. Yeah. I'll finish this your, off, Your timer begins now and you can relax in 30 minutes. It was worth it. <laughs> Good job, random baker on the internet. Please don't kill us. All right, still going strong with the third and last batch. And this is where the breads start to get interesting. And by interesting, I mean, look at this one. It is expensive, but it's probably because there's a lot of cheddar in it. Cheddar dill bread. Never have ever had that. This is like what this person's known for, they say. And it looks interesting. I mean, it's cheese, it's, br ooh, look at that. It looks like a, looks like a red lobster cheddar bay biscuit. I'm all for it. All right, cheddar dill bread, get in my cart. And then I saw this. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's called pain de champagne bread. It is a classic French country bread. Sure, throw it in there. I want to expand my bread horizons. And then lastly, we have one of my favorite breads, Irish soda bread with raisins and glazed icing. I feel like the icing is not going to ship well, but... <laughs> We'll see. Okay, let's let the final bread batch and future Lauren eating it and hopefully surviving begin. New Lauren here, which means it's bread day. <laughs> this is the final bread day. I've grown to like these packages showing up in my house. <laughs> you may be like, Lauren, this looks like a Grubhub or a Uber Eats or a Postmates order. It was in a box, but then I pulled it out and it was in a bag. It was in a bag in a box. And these are what I like to call the savory breads that I ordered. And then starting off with like the slightly sweet one, Irish soda bread. And these don't have any labels, so I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> but we're gonna trust strangers. That's what this is all about. Good texture. Again, very dense, but not as heavy as the last. We have this one. I forget the name. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> I looked it up afterwards and it apparently is kind of like a sourdough, but like an old school version of that. It's made with sourdough starter. My least favorite bread, but it looks really good. And then the last one I'm the most excited to try, the cheddar dill. Oh, here we go. Here's the name, Pain de Champagne, French country bread. And then this is a letter about the cheddar dill bread. It's their specialty. Okay, then I'm even, more, we're saving that for the last. Oh my God, it's 200 calories for one slice. Oh, there's gonna be pockets of cheddar 
cheese running throughout of it. <laughs> I feel like the, that one's gonna be way better toasted, but for science, we're gonna have to eat it without toasted. All right, let's do the pain de champagne. This is such a pretty color. <laughs> Taking another gamble with my life. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This bread not only looks pretty, it feels pretty. <laughs> If that makes sense. The bottom bit fell off, but here, let's just cut. Look, a perfect slice. Oh, why does it smell like champagne? It smells like champagne. I feel like I'm not gonna like this. And I feel like it's not gonna be this stranger's fault. It's gonna be because I don't like sourdough and I didn't read <laughs> before ordering what type of bread it is. Oh, <laughs> this tastes nothing like sourdough. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like champagne. Ooh, maybe butter. Maybe toasted with butter is the way to go. I don't have a toaster down here because I can't be trusted with to toasters because <laughs> I almost burned our house down, but I do have butter and it would make sense that it tastes like champagne because it's a French bread with the name in it. Oh God, for me, that definitely needs butter. But if it was toasted, with butter on the side of like a charcuterie board in France, it would be lovely. That was an interesting experience. Thank you for that, stranger from the internet. <laughs> I am now one step closer to trying every single bread on this planet. <laughs> All right, next, Irish soda bread. Oh, this one's sticky. Smells nice though. I am a huge fan of Irish soda bread and I didn't get any this year. <laughs> this is gonna be a treat. Oh, I keep forgetting to rank them. Okay, Pain de Champagne. <laughs> it looked beautiful. The texture was beautiful. It has its place, but I will say it's probably like B. I'll give it some credit because I've never had one before. And also it's apparently uh, related to sourdough, which I'm also not a fan of. So I will give it points there for my unfairness. Okay, the last slice was great. I don't know what happened to this one. It's just crumble. I'm just gonna have to vacuum. This is definitely gonna be better with butter because that's how I like to eat it anyway. Toasted with butter, Irish soda bread. You're sleeping on it if you've never had it. Got raisins in it, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that's what these are. Well, let's see. It's Irish soda bread. Let's try it the way that I usually have it with butter. That is delightful. <laughs> There's a bakery that is like a staple in my family. Around St. Patrick's Day, we always try to go there and get a loaf of Irish soda bread. That's the best Irish soda bread I've ever had is from that bakery that my family and I always go to. This one is pretty darn close <laughs> to that. And that's saying a lot because this one has been through the mail. It's been like at least a day or two that it's been in the mail. The other one I'm getting the day that they make it. So bravo, well done, internet stranger. And also don't worry if you were concerned about all of my, where all this bread and all the carbs are going, most of it is going into our stomachs or our friends' stomachs. Or I learned you can freeze it up to three months. So we've also been doing that. So don't worry. Trust me, there is no waste of bread in this house. All right. And I am very excited for this one. It is their specialty. It apparently has pockets of cheese in it and dill. So it's going to kind of taste like pickles. This I really need to try toasted. Ooh. I feel like this bread is gonna be dangerous to have in my house because it's all I'm gonna wanna eat. Oh, oh, look at that perfect slice. <laughs> we need to look at this. This is like a work of art. Look at all the cheese. Oh my God, if you toast this, it must melt. Oh. Okay, I see the little green specks in there and I see the little cheese and I'm very excited. Even alone, it is good. I feel like butter is gonna take it up a notch and then I feel like toasting it's gonna take it up another notch. Oh man, <laughs> I understand now. I understand why it's their specialty. This is like, oh my God, you don't even have to make a grilled cheese. You could just toast this. Oh, I feel like that's going in S tier. That is very interesting. And I feel like I, I'm like leaning between the S and the A, but toasted, that's definitely gonna be an S. There's no question. <laughs> and now I just have to wait 30 minutes to make sure that I was not poisoned by strangers on the internet. And if so, this video will go out and all will be good because that was my last batch. And now I'm sad that bread won't be showing up at my house until I order more, because I probably will. <laughs> if I don't die and this video goes up, make sure you leave a like, because I risked my health and life for you guys to taste test internet stranger food. <laughs> and also let me know if you would like me uh, to risk myself more and try other things, because food? <laughs>